Welcome back to Wildstar. As always, I'm a dark gamer, and it is time to get to level 9. If I got my levels correct. Where's my level? Does not say, actually. Oh, there it is. I'm level 8. Yeah, so we're getting to level 9 this episode. Her, 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 her. Alright, so we just finished up Deadeye and the uh, Dead Star. Let's see what he wants. Some days I reckon old Deadeye is just a pawn in the game of life. Dead silence. A merc named Cormac called in about trouble at Jarek's claim. The mining camp out in the Crystal Shards. Can you go check it out? I'll check on the camp. Reckon I'll be in touch. Alright, so we started a new episode, The Dead Star Menace. Uh, Foreman Hamworth over here wants to teach us to salvage. Let's talk to him really quick. Give me some news, friend. Salvage is the art of taking old gear apart and get something useful out of it. You ready to try it out? What do you need me to do? Now for the next Hopefully step, this friend. old junk still got a few working parts. Breaking it down. Every exile should be doing all they can to help out. Maybe you can salvage something useful out of this old prototype of mine for Drillsmith Moxmay. I'm on my way. Don't be late. By the way, I do slip into a southern accent occasion. Oh! Let me continue what I was saying. I do slip into a southern accent occasionally. That is because I am from the south. So... I try not to talk like it, but these characters are written with that accent in mind, so I'll slip into it from time to time when I'm reading for characters. It happens. Anyway, let's see what we got for leveling up. Uh, we unlocked salvaging, as if we couldn't figure that one out already. Our attributes increased. And we got a weapon attachment slot, which... I have no idea where that is. Weapon attachment, we don't have anything put there. Can we have more than one implant? I didn't think so. Edit your costumes as Styles Fender in Major Towns. Alright. Uh, and we got another AMP. I'm going to actually go over here. And put it into... I think Assault Power. Yeah. Is that the only one we had? yet? Yeah. so use set. Alright. So what do we do? Um... Salvage the unusable crafting prototype to get a uh, dusty power core. Salvage the unusable crafting prototype to get an experimental component. So, I think we do this in here. Uh, no, so salvage. Alright. Unusable crafting prototype, salvage. And now we bring the items back to him. I'm not going to do any more salvaging on screen, just the one for the quest. Reckon you'd never check Breaking in. Breaking it down. Wait. Oh, to Mox Mech. Excuse me. Haha. <laughs> Wrong guy. Bring it over here. It is damn good to see oh, you. Oh, thanks, honey. With this power core, we can get her up and running again for sure. Happy to help. Ain't like me to thank people. But All thanks. right. So we do have a couple other errands to run around town before we head off. Uh, we have to talk to Merchant Holdstar because we have gotten a ton of reputation with the Algrock Accord. I hear you. Didn't reckon I'd see you back again so soon. You've arrived, Buck. As your reputation with the Algarok Accord grows, you'll gain access to higher quality equipment. It's the Algarok way. That sounds great. I'll throw in my win and smile free of charge. Alright, so... We still need to go investigate that distress signal. We also have a quest now to go down here and do Dead Silence. Um, which is the next story mission. So I think we're actually going to... Because we also need to go scan some more loft height. We're going to head up here and do the SOS. For this episode. That sounds like a plan. So, let's go. So, uh, oh, Pappy. I almost forgot about Pappy. He has a new quest for us. Well, Local loft height discoveries. You ready to start bringing crystal out of the ground? It's your lucky day, stranger. Take this thumper, drop it near a loft height node, and start counting your cash. Sounds almost too easy. Mighty kind of you, friend. All right, so he wants us to go around and dig up this purple stuff. So, let's do that. Can I grab these? Uh, no. Just, they float there. Alright, so let's just go do two more of those, because 33% means there's three of them to do. It says I can collect it. 
but it's not letting me. Ah, well. Alright, so let's go talk back to... Let's go turn that one in. And we gotta talk to the town mineralogist again. Need to Local talk? loft type discoveries. Yeehaw! Now that's a haul of loft type if I ever saw one. I don't say this often, but I think you've got an eye for the color, friend. Who needs shovels? You're not too shabby. Do we have any to turn in? Gotta stick with it. We do. Let's convert some uh, loft type to alg rocket rep, just because. All right. So now we're gonna head up and go to the SOS. Now that we're done in town. So the fastest way back up there is to head in the direction we were heading before, which was this way. And since I'm right here, scan. Should only a couple more of those, because that was 89%. Oh, hey, I made that jump perfectly. I never do that. So this should be 90-something percent. 93? Do I hear 93? 99! So let's just send our little scan bot up there, and that should be 100. And the super jump we got from that gets us most of the way up here. And again, and I'm not going to land where I wanted to land. Oh, almost fell off. Come on, double jump up here. Come on. There we go. Alright, so up here is where the distress signal is. It's a proto starship. And we haven't actually dealt with proto... Did I just... Oh, that was... I was like, I did not level up. No, we got our new science level, which gives us holographic distraction as an ability. Dazzles target with holographic imagery, reducing enemy awareness within 5 meter radius of the hologram. That's our only one right now. So we have a little bit of a holographic decoy we can summon. That's cool. So we haven't really dealt with Protostar yet. Let's get over here and I'll talk about them for a brief minute. Um, yeah, Protostar is an intergalactic uh, shipping conglomerate. I think they uh, work for both sides of the conflict between the Exiles and the Dominion. And they're made up of these uh, green skin dudes. That's really all I personally know about them. I need to look more into them. I really didn't do a whole lot of digging when I first played the game into who they were. Bad of me, I know. Now let's talk to him. So this Prosperous times to you. Let's see what this distress signal about. Protostar SOS. Salutations! Can I help you? Egregious pilot error has left our ship partially submerged. Really now? I assure you the pilot has been sacked. Yes, I can help for money! Repairing the core. Shocking news! A catastrophic meltdown is imminent unless someone can reach the ship's reactor core and repair it. I can't swim. Can you? Let me take a sip of my coffee here. And then we're going for a dip. I'm a dip. Prompt completion is of the highest priority. Irradiated creatures. Radiation from the ship's reactor is causing aggressive mutations in local fauna. Endangering cash crash survivors. Your violent impulses are required. I'll handle this. I appreciate your lethal and flexible. Now something I do intend to do is when the next drop hits, they are introducing a new uh, dungeon, or rather a training dungeon. Ooh, there's a mailbox called the Protostar Games, and it's basically just a way for people to get acclimated to how dungeons work. But I. It's meant for low-level characters, and I figured since I'm leveling anyway, and there's another mission over here, so let's go over here and do it, that I should do it on camera for you guys. So that's going to be a plan. Triple kill. Alright, so... What is this? Snoglug A. Challenge begins! Oh, I did not mean to start a challenge. No, 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 no. Dragged off. Uh too late for this protostar employee but there might still be survivors out there that can still be saved from the local numera all right we got five minutes to grab 10 eggs you okay it didn't look at like the grabbing ah! <laughs> Double. 
Double kill. Scan him. Nothing wasted. All right. Come on. Can I make this? Was there another egg around here somewhere? Scan. And it gets aggressive because I do. Alright, so I'm done with the radiated creatures. Thank you for your aid. I assure you the Protostar brand radiation is thoroughly tested with science, so don't worry about harmful side effects. Radiation is a harsh mistress. Grab some more eggs. Alright, so we're done with the irradiated creatures as far as that quest goes, but we're not done with them as far as our scanning goes. Especially because we're getting peanuts for these scans. Like 2 and 3% at a time. It's crazy, so... Uh, we have three minutes to grab two more eggs. I am not worried about finishing now. We can just do this at our own pace. In fact, let me go ahead and just kill these so I can scan them. Double kill. some scans, and while the scan bot's going at it, I'll grab this egg, and then we'll be done with that. Oh, that wasn't an egg, that was a, uh, haha, <laughs> that was a Protostar employee. Uh, no, it's this one. Highly irradiated Snuglog. Let's, uh, see if he gets us any more scan. <laughs> Oh yeah, he got us. He got us a bit. Loot rewards. Uh, let's see here. Satchel of scavenge supplies. Ow, ow, ow! I'm taking radiation damage. Up the butt. Simple steel boots, which is actually kind of an upgrade. We lose brutality. We gain a ton of armor and a rune slot and a random attribute. I think we're gonna go for that just because leveling gear is important. All right. So we got the boots. Let's go and equip those. Equip. Uh, did we get any other in, uh, gear recently? I don't actually... Uh, we got that chest, but it wasn't an upgrade. We got the implant, which we're using the grit one. I'm going to switch to the moxie one because we want to do more damage. And... I think that's it for sh uh, upgrades. Uh, oh! Heavy legs. Brutality and finesse versus finesse and moxie. So we lose crit hit and severity, but we gain assault power, which is what we want. Cool. Alright. So we're kind of getting this dark look on us, which is not bad. Uh, oh, another Protostar employee, or the same one who fell back down. I don't know which. So we got to find, like, two more of those guys, and we've got to scan a bunch more creatures. You, you, gonna, you gonna go? I'm hitting the button. There it goes. I didn't have the creature selected. Alright, so, we're at 43% on the scans. Let's, uh, go a different direction. We actually need to go down into the water to deal with the, uh, core problem that they're having. So, let's do that in a second. Here. Alright, so we're at 47% on the wildlife. There's a cave over there that I remember being important, but I don't remember why. Uh, Alright, so we're down in the water now. And here is their ship. So let's get down here. There are tanks of compressed air we can go to if we start running out of breath. 
Alright, so where is these things? The starboard event and the... This event? No. Where are these vents that I'm looking for? I suppose they'd be on the port and starboard sides. There's one. We're at 70% air, so we should be fine to go get the other one. Good work. I detected a dramatic drop in engine temperature. Now simply get to the other side of the ship and clear the second vent. Uh, we need to shut the ship down. Done. Oh, now we gotta go down to stabilize the reactor, which was the thing I swam to in the first place. Alright, flush the reactor. Engines powered down. I await your prompt report. Emergency crews are on their way. Algrox total annihilation and many expensive lawsuits have been averted. Your compensation awaits. Uh, let's grab some heavy hands. Oh, there's two. Uh, finesse or brutality. We want brutality. Thank you. From Protostar. Those liability forms should be arriving any day now. I promise. Bots can't swim. Many of our bots were plunged in the icy depths of the lake when we crashed. You're in a position to help. Please activate their immersion protocols. So that I can buy. No further time allotted for chit chat. Alright, so we're running out of breath. Let's go over here some air. And there's a bot over there that I can see. And there's a book. So let's just sit here for a second, get some air back. Breathe in air underwater. Alright, so let's grab this book and then we'll go rescue this bot. Protostar Emergency Procedures Manual. Alright, Protostar Mindbot. Immersion protocols activate. Oh hey, you can sprint underwater. I did not know that. That is actually really good information and actually very clever on the devs part. So that actually makes getting around down here really fast. How many of these do we have to get? Uh, we're 60% now, so two more. Speak of the devils. Alright, so... Here's one. And here's two. Let's get over this air. Just so we're not dying of... Protostar means asphyxiation. Value. It's also a kind of star. Thank you for your prompt assistance. With your help, we will soon be at full production capacity. I'm just glad to be trying. What's with all this slacking? Protostar, pure Loftite survey. Profitability requires us to use the rarest, purest forms of Loftite, and I need a freelancer to mark pure Loftite veins nearby. Lucky you! I'll mark Please the purest accept veins. Please thank you from Protostar. That thank you better be money. Alright, so we need to find them some pure loft type things. We also need to rescue a couple more of their employees. And scan some irradiated creatures. All in all, pretty good easy day of work. Um, there's something over here. Loft type crystal skull. That's... I don't remember this. This glittering skull looks extremely valuable and pulses with a strange light. You're sure there's someone out there interested in it? The loft type purity is off the charts. Looks like you got your hands on something rare there. Bring it by my ship and fade. Alright, so... There's a Protostar employee. We need one more of those. Just kind of avoid the wildlife if they're not irradiated. Oh, there's another one. So we'll be done with the Protostar employees. Let's get some scans. And kill these before they kill my bot. Double kill. Alright, we're at 53% on the scans. Let's get this snog log. Seven percent. 
Where do they want me to go for the pure Loftite? Oh, it's that cave I think I saw. Alright. We might end up getting uh, the rest of these scams on our way back. Or these big ones will do it. Let's go get another big one. One more should actually do it. Get away from the uh, radiation there. Alright, we're done with the irradiated wildlife. Let's go into this cave and find some pure loftite. Uh, here's another uh, SWAT mission, but we're not that class. Oh. Speak profitably. Despite your assistance, regulations prevent me from displaying more familiarity. Yeti extermination. We need to forcibly remove the Yeti from Ice Maw Cavern before our mining operations begin, or we'll be buried in injury compensation forms. I'll clear them out. I appreciate your lethal and flexible. Less Yeti, code. more profit. From Protostar. Challenge begins. Oh, snap. We got a challenge. We got a kill a bunch of Yeti in under five minutes while we're also scanning for a pure loft type. Or placing flares, anyway. Shouldn't be too hard. About halfway to level nine. I think when we finish this area, we should be level nine, but I don't know. We'll see. Jump! Oh yes, he ran into it. Place a flare. Jump on a Yeti. And just a few more Yetis should do it. Come on. We have three and a half minutes, and we are looking good on the Yetis. So I'm going to head this way, because we need to find more pure Loftite. There's another Yeti coming up, so let's jump at him when we're in range. Should need just one more Yeti. Come on. Challenge complete. All right, loot rewards. We've got some boots that are not as good as the ones we're wearing. Trade skill loot bag and a loot bag. We'll just grab a loot bag. often than not you get what you pick so done with that uh, are we done killing yetis uh, oh we need to mark more of these and we need to kill the ice mall alpha so I believe he's deeper in the cave Should need to mark one more uh, loft type vein. Let's see if we can avoid this one because we really don't need to kill more Yeti. Uh, the Alpha should be back here somewhere. There's our last pure loft type. Ah, there's the Alpha. Let me. Okay. You know, I will grab that after I kill the Alpha because killing Alpha actually uh, will make the rest of these not aggressive to us. Like I said, I've done some of this before. Hey, you! Who's Alpha now? Oh, 
Oh, it's still you, but... And see, now they're all yellow to us, so they won't attack us on sight. Thanks to your efforts, the Yeti are too afraid to attack us. Now our mindless robotic minions can get back to their purposeful work. Glad to be of assistance. Let me grab your last loft height and I can get out of here. Oh, I'm actually moved there for a bit. Yep, so as soon as we head out and turn in these quests, we should be good to go. Uh, we'll have to figure out what the mystery of the loft height crystal skull is next time. Let's get out of here, and I'll probably cut back in when we are back at the uh, quest turn in. So, see you there! Alright, well, we're right over from. But I found this on the ground. I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, loot. We got a recipe and some gloves from that discovery. Alright, so. Up here is the supervisor we initially talked to. Report away. Volunteer Golem Greystone. I think that's another player. Yeah, that's another player. Another warrior like us. Dragged off. By saving those employees, you've saved the Protostar Corporation the trouble and expense of cloning them again. On behalf of Protostar, I thank you. Protostar goods are backed by a quasi-legal guarantee. Quasi-legal guarantee. All right, and the loft Report extraction away. expert. For temporary employee, you do excellent survey work. We'll begin certified loft height extraction immediately. Uh, heavy feet with grit, I think, is better for us than the insight. Uh, the rest of it's lighter medium, so we'll grab those. Yeti extermination. Ice Claw Cabin is clear, and we have unfettered access to some of the purest loft height veins I have ever seen. Remarkable results for a mere contractor. Thank you. A mere contractor? Hmm? Accept this emotionally neutral farewell. Sunken Prospects, uh, episode complete. Alright. We're actually done here, and I have not leveled yet, so, uh... We're gonna go and, uh, head towards Jarek's claim. See you there. Alright, well, Crystal Maw's here, so we're gonna help kick his butt. And not take that damage. Bother getting out. Yeah, way to go, Spanky. Oh yeah, leveled up on. Uh, is that a world boss? I think it was. All right. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Next time we start the Dead Star Menace. Until then, I've been a Dark Gamer. Thank you for watching. As always, if you want to see more, I always say that twice, don't I? Uh, if you want to see more Wildstar, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what I can do better. Um, Till next time, thank you for watching. Later.